Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be making an announcement system for your Roblox game because why not? Alright, so, so to get started, uh, let's just come over here to start GUI. Let's just go make ourselves some uh, GUI template because this is going to be a GUI announcement. Uh, so now we're just going to add, I believe, a, yeah, a text box. So just put a text box over here. You can just write in it in game. So we could just make that scriptable. So then, and once we have that right announcement, we have to be able to make to enter it. So what we could do is make a button. So which one we put a button here? Uh, text button. Put it in there. And now we got these two. So we got the text box and the text button. So text box. I don't really care about this one, but for this, it's going to be important. Now we got the text box, the text button, and the screen GUI. And now we're going to go to replicated storage. And we're going to insert a remote event if you want to know how to use remote event. Uh, link's going to be at the top of the screen right now, so you just click on that. And let's just continue with this. So now in the text button, let's just come over here and make a local script. Local script. Alright, so this is what we have in here. So what's going to happen is once the player hits uh, the button, then it's going to get the text, whatever is in this text box over here, whatever this is, and it's going to get that variable it's going to send it over to the uh, uh, remote event which we have in replicate storage so then after we do that okay fine it gets it so let's just go and test this out so let's come over here let's go make another script uh, script and let's do a testing thing all right so we got this for testing so it's going to get the remote event it's going to look for we got a player value that's who clicked the button and you also have the text and this text is actually going to be this text box over here. It's just another name for the variable. So we're going to have this text. It's going to print the text. So let's go see if this works. All right. So if I just click on play, I go type whatever I want. Click on the button. Down here, it shows the text right there that we put in. So now let's actually make an announcement pop up. All right. So we got the script, but we actually need a text to put it in. So if we want, we can come right in here again and we can make so we we can come to the screen GUI and we can make a text label. There we go, put this wherever we want. And we could just put the script into here, come into the script, and we can just add a few lines of code such as script.parent.text um, equals text. So it gets the text that we got from our local script and just makes the text of the, of the text label that. So if we come over here and click on play, if we just test something random in here, press the button, there we go, it pops it over here. And this is a server side uh, editing of this, not not over here, but over here. So anyone will see this text, but now it's actually clean this up. All right, so I'm done cleaning up uh, the script and making it look nice. So what happens now is now we have two different frames. This is for the announcement. Uh, again, all we just did over here was make the frame go visible and then make it turn off after two seconds So the announcement is only temporary and over here uh, I just cleaned it up make it into a frame everything and everything should work as normal This script has not been changed and just cleaned everything up put names stuff like that And now if I press play and I put an announcement such as hello announce we got a hello over there. It goes away. You might be thinking, oh, this is not going to work with other uh, with other players. Not everyone's going to see the announcement or whatever, but I'll show you that it actually works with, with every uh, client. So over here, I got two player clients open. As you can see, you can go with them. If I make an announcement, let's just say, uh, hey, and you announce it. Both screens. There we go. There we go. Both screens. It shows up with both people. Put over here as well. Shows up both people. So that's it. So that is it for today's tutorial. Uh, like I always do my tutorials, uh, all the scripts and a link to the model if you want it will be in the description below. Uh, other than that, have a nice day. And before I let you off, I would like to thank you for 200 subscribers. I've never thought I was going to say that out loud before, but. 200 subscribers thank you all for subscribing i know i've been posting that much but still i uh, love the support and hopefully you enjoy the video and bye